Hello, thank you for stopping by my channel. Today's video is going to be an Ask Leslie. And so this question is from uh, a gentleman that's a subscriber. He asked me to give him a little advice on, he met a young lady on, I think he said he's 29 and maybe she's 31 or something like that. Um, he said he met a young lady on Facebook. And so he said he really likes her and he is a nigerian and so i think that's what he told me on the uh, message and so he's saying she's not really sure if he is a scammer or not he's having some issues with her thinking maybe he's a scammer and i'll do a little bit as you know these are seven minute videos i am going to try to go over a little advice and for him and a little advice you know in general in this situation so um yeah it's going to be seven minutes so i'm going to be talking probably a little bit fast so i can go over everything <laughs> all righty guys and i thought this was very interesting and i had other videos to go up before this one but i decided you know what we're gonna put this one up because i had encountered some people really trying to hack into my accounts over the past few weeks trying to hack into my instagram trying to hack into my facebook um trying to hack into just different things and i'm like what in the world is going on why are these people doing this what in the world are you looking for what do you think you're going to get you know but anyway i thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of go over um over that so he said he met her on facebook and i guess they've been communicating because he says that she's not really sure if he thinks that she's a, he's a scammer. So this is what I would say. And if you want to, you can send this message to her because I'm gonna try to just go over it a little general because I can understand where she's coming from. Um, in no judgment to anyone that is from Nigeria or any other, you know, africa india any of these places but a lot of scamming we know comes on facebook and a lot of times from those countries doesn't mean that this person in general is doing that to would do that to her but i can understand how she's feeling and what she's going through so this is the advice that i'm going to give you and i don't want anyone to click off thinking oh i don't want to hear that because i'm not from nigeria i don't want to hear that but it doesn't matter it's really trust with a woman it's it's us trusting you whether it's thinking you're a scammer or thinking you're a player or thinking you're a cheater or thinking you're this that and the other a lot of times we have these ideas and we think that we generalize people like people from Nigeria, people from India. We think, you know, India, I mean, and the reason why I say that is because a lot of scamming comes from a lot of these different ethnicities or countries, you know, and so we, we just want to characterize people. Just like we say, all black people are like this, all white people are like this, all Indian people are like this, all Mexican people are like this. We need to not do that because everyone is an individual. And this is what I would say to this situation if you are talking to this young lady and you guys are communicating because evidently it sounds like you guys have been communicating what i would say to that situation is for you on your end and then i'll tell you what maybe she needs to do on her end on your end you need to bring your whole self and you need to be as honest as possible and you need to make sure that you are picking up the telephone calling her you know I, I don't know how you guys are communicating and don't communicate with her through I know a lot of Nigerians like to communicate through whatsapp give her an actual phone number call her not all the texting sometimes we as women we need trust when we hear certain things and we deal with certain things we just need a little trust so i would say pick up the telephone call her facetime her so she can see that you are an actual person you know not all the because on the phone you could be anybody anywhere in any country doing anything you know pick up the telephone facetime her call her make sure that she has your phone number and make sure that it's not like 
through this WhatsApp type thing because a lot of Nigerians go through that WhatsApp for different reasons. But anyway, um, just make sure that you're doing as much as you can to make her feel comfortable. And this is on any level with any man. You know, a lot of men say women is women at, you know, I get a lot of that from different men because as you know, a lot of my audience is men. And so they have all these different things they say about women, but trust me, it's trust. And in order for her to trust you, you have to come your authentic self. And you also, when you see a woman that you like and you really want her, you're gonna have to do everything in your power to get her to trust you. Yes, she's been hurt by certain things, certain, you know, and this is like on, if someone has dealt with a lot of cheaters, if someone have dealt with a lot of things, she been through a lot of stuff. So she gotta be able to trust you. And as far as a Nigerian, she has to trust you because we get all these people trying to hack into our accounts. And you know, a lot of times they are from Nigeria, the things that they say, how their punctuation and different things. So you gonna have to do a little bit extra to let her know that you're not like that because you're seeing you're really trying and you're like I am real oh, I'm sorry I may have hit my microphone you're like you are really trying to show her that you like her and you're really into her and you're not you know like a certain group or this or that and the other so what I would say brother is do everything in your power to show her who you really are and get her to trust you and for her she's going to have to trust what you're saying you have to trust people until they do something wrong now the moment he starts asking you for money send you this get on these different apps get on different zoom and all these different things to send you and ask you for social security numbers, ask you for bank accounts, that's when she should be alarmed. But as long as those things are not happening and you are just, you know, bringing your authentic self, then we have to trust people. In order to be in relationships, in order to date people, we have to trust. I mean, that's what it's all about. And so if you give this video to my sister, that you say that you're really liking, you know, let her, I want to let her know, sis, you gonna have to trust him until he do something wrong. And that's the whole thing with people, regardless if she's dating a Nigerian from in Nigeria, or she's dating a guy up the street It's all about trust. We have to trust until someone does something wrong. You can't characterize people and say, all a certain group is like this, all a certain group is like that, because there's different people in all groups. We, we, we can't do that. So if you really like him, sis, what I would say is give him a chance. Give him a chance, and if he mess up, then that's it. You know, so in the beginning, talk to him, be slow, because I mean, that's what we gotta do sometime when we're dating. We don't want to move fast. We don't want to do things that we don't want to do. Take your time. And if he FaceTimes you and he shows you that I'm an honest man and I'm this, that I don't know how he going to get to where you are. I don't, I don't know all that situation. That's none of my business. But what I will say, sis, is give him a chance. And I say that because... We don't know how love is going to find us. If you found love in this young man, and it sounds like you guys are really, you know, t have been talking and communicating and really liking each other, I would say, give it a chance. Y'all know I'm all about love. I'm all about, it doesn't matter what age, what race, what whatever you got going on. It's not none of my business as long as you got grown people. What I would say is take your time. And we have to know that people are people and everybody's not the same. And, and most likely if you found this woman, she's probably an African-American woman. And we know that how people have judged us as African-Americans say, we're all this way and we're all that way. And we're no, we're not. So you can't judge him and say he's all a certain way because he's Nigerian. Or you can't say he's all a certain way because he's Hispanic or he's not a certain way because he's Asian or we, we have to stop doing that. We really do because everyone is an individual and until they show you something different, 
then you believe what you see, whatever he's, he's doing. If he say that, oh, I really like you and he find a way to get to where you are and he find a way to show you that he's the man that he is, girls, trust that may be God sending your husband. I'm not saying that it is, but it could be. So just take your time, enjoy the moment, and we'll see where it goes from there. So I did ask him to subscribe to the channel if he's not already. So I can follow, because I love to follow these stories that people tell me certain things. I like to see what's going on, you know, but I would say, sis, be cautious, be aware, keep your eyes open, be discerning, you know, all of that, but enjoy life. Don't do anything stupid. Don't, you know, don't get nobody into your phone number. I mean, not your phone number, sorry. Don't give anybody your social security number. Don't give anybody your bank account number. As long as you are being safe and don't marry nobody on the whim. You know, if he said, oh, baby, I want to marry you. No, 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 no. We marry nobody real quick. Let's slow down. Let's take our time, you know, and think, you know, responsibly and do things responsibly. So I would love to hear how this situation ends up. This ended up being over seven minutes because I had to you know, kind of talk to her as well. I didn't want to just give info, give something to him without talking to her as well. If he does give her this video and if he doesn't give her this video, it's for another woman. And so I think this video can go as far as not just for someone in another country. It can go for a cheater. As women, we tend to hold things we tend to hold grudges we tend to hold on to hurt we tend to hold on to pain and all kinds of things as women and why because i know i i've never really no 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 no. let's take that back let's be honest i've held on to grudges but then i've had to allow it to you know to forgive a person or to move on from certain things and so i've had to forgive a cheater i've had to forgive di different people in my life and so sometimes guys you have to know that us women have been through some stuff just like y'all i know men have been cheated on too so but if you find the person that you think that you're supposed to be with that you really like and you really love and you find this connection with this person you don't let it go because this person is not really trusting you at this moment this is the time for you to show this person trust me i'm i'm, I'm honest i'm gonna show you my whole self and you know what you do is you show that person okay this is me you can trust me i I will show you whatever you want to show. I'll un I'll unlock any baggage that you want to see. If you want to see what's what I've done in the past, if you want to see this, if you, if you really like somebody, if you really vibing with somebody, if you're really um, meshing with someone and you feel like this person, you they feel you and you feel them, you you must know that it's gonna take time for that person to trust because that person has been through some things. Whether it's you know, they're thinking maybe you're a scammer or they think that, um, you know, you're a cheater or you're this or you're that. And for, I will say again for my sister that thinks he's a scammer, I've dated many, my Niger I can't even talk. I've dated um, a several Nigerians and all of them are not scammers. They are some very hardworking people. They are some very honest people, not all of them. Now, that's what I'm saying. You have to individualize this person to see who he is. You can't just put him in a box or characterize him and put him in a group and say he's like a certain group, you know? So I would say, take your time, you know, and see who the guy is. And it goes for a Nigerian, they go for a cheetah, they go for a liar, they go for all kind of men that we have been hurt by and all kind of women that guys have been hurt by. We have to open up our heart and we have to know that people can be different. We can't just say that a race is this way or a group of people is this way or a certain person. We really honestly, truly can't be that way if we want to really find love, okay? I hope that this um, helped that gentleman. Um, 
and I hope that he'll be able to send it to her and I hope it helps others. Um, please leave me a comment and let me know if it did um, help you out in any kind of way and just like the video if you don't mind. If you don't guys mind, if you don't guys, I can't talk today y'all. If you guys don't mind liking, sharing the video, I would really appreciate it. Alrighty guys, I thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>